All right, now we're going to talk about this guy, Oedipus. Yeah, Oedipus, man. Oedipus, Miss Smelly. Yeah. Yeah, he's a good guy, isn't he? He's Oedipus, the man, the king of thieves. Yeah. Yeah, he's, he solves Sphinx real. You know what I'm saying, bro? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah man. Yeah, it was, it, the answer was a man. A man. A man. Not a woman. A man. Can you imagine that? He's a man. He, he's, he's just a great guy. Oh, man. Great guy. All right, well, we're about to tell you the story about him. Oedipus is a king of Thebes. He saw the Sphinx riddle with ease. Now the people are free from the bloody tribute. What a great man, how can you dispute? He feels his peeps pain affected in the plague. Why did this happen? The answer seems so vague. Creon has the answer to this ruckus. They must avenge murder who kill us. A long time ago there was a prophecy that he would kill his father and sleep with his mother. But that wouldn't happen, so he thought that prophet was a drunk wannabe. Laius used to be the Thebian king before Oedipus picked up sword and gave it a swing. But Oedipus didn't know that was his padre that he just killed on the three-way. Word, yeah. Peace out, Miss Smelly. Yeah. Now Tiresias is blind, but he can see. He retold Oedipus' prophecy. When Oedipus asked who killed the king, Tiresias doesn't say a thing. Oedipus then gets really mad. Why does this prophet hit on me so bad? <laughs> but Oedipus did not see it coming when Tiresias said he killed the king. The prophet, though, is correct, because Laius was his dad the last time I checked. Jocasta is his lovely wife, and she is the one that gave him his life. But Oedipus does not know he is wrong, and that prophet has been right all along. Oedipus is the name. In Thebes, I play my game. Saving gave me fame. In the tale, the murderer I became. Say my name again. I'll threaten to take your life. My mom married a kin. She is my crusty wife. In my darkest hour, I get a bit sour. Jocasta is a double blooming flower. I found her feet off of the ground. She became her own casualty. This is what life's all about in an ancient Greek tragedy. I can't see anything. I don't have eyes. I know, although I killed the king, I blamed it all on Apollo. Every day this lie has been hidden from the city to show my anger, to show my cry, scream like a big kitty. Aye, aye, yeah. Although I am not my destiny's carver, my life is driving straight into the fatal harbor. Yeah, yeah, ba boom, yeah. All right, my curiosity leads me to exile, but I'm still gonna hug my daughters in style. I'm a confused man with everything to lose. My name screams, I need to get some new shoes. I would love Creon just to leave me alone. That's because he just might be my clone. That's right, things in common tend to push away. Although he's right, I'll never give a touche. He's the new king, but it's too late, I'm already gone. I ran away because the prophecy hit the truth dead on. And his wife and mother was bound for desperate measures. She's now on her knees while begging, please. This prophecy can't be true. What am I to do? If the whole life that on chance wasn't love at first glance, Oedipus finds out he was not Paul Buster's son. He just might think he's another one. Oedipus was found with his ankles bound. He then finds out how his name came around. When Jocasta puts all of the pieces together, she nearly faints and loses all restraints. Her strength. Her strength. Oedipus is the name. In Thebes, I play my game. Saving gave me fame. In the tale, the murderer I became.